Spirit guides are beings that have transitioned into the afterlife, but rather than reincarnating on earth again, they have chosen to dedicate their existence to being spirit guides as a way of continuing their soul's evolution. This is a high honor. Not all of us had the option of becoming a spirit guide. To have this option suggests a high level of mastery and ascension. We have paired with the spirit guides that can best serve us. This often looks like complementary strengths or similar strengths. If you're known for running late, you may have a spirit guide that was always prompt when living, and so they're able to guide you in being prompt. Alternatively, you may have a spirit guide that was also constantly late, so you have been paired to overcome this challenge together. Spirit guides often know us better than we know ourselves. They are wonderful. They are wonderful at helping us out and guiding us in healing and growth. Our spirit guide help helps us guide us back into alignment with the love of the universe. When you get stuck in a fear-based thought or pattern, you can turn to your guides to help lead you back to love. Knowing that there is a presence always supporting you will give you unshakable faith and strength. This spirit guide meditation will help you invite in this support. And this is a beautiful practice that help you create a deep, deep, deep connection to the beings of love and light who are always here to support you. Who are always here to support you. So before you start this meditation, make sure you have a journal next to you. After the meditation, you will free write to let the guidance you have received come forth. Journaling, my friend, help you access the wisdom from the deeper layers of your being and develop a greater understanding of the messages they have to offer. You will practice this meditation seated in a chair so that you can be in alignment. The more aligned you are physically to the best of your ability, the more you can receive. While your spirit guides are always present, it may not feel that way because you may not be aware of their presence. So this meditation will help you invite them in and become aware of the guidance that is available to you. So let's dive in. Let's sit comfortably with our feet firmly on the ground and breathe deeply in and out. Breathe in and out. With each breath in, we are bringing source energy in through our crown chakra with each breath out, we are releasing any negative emotion, any worries, any fears. They all are being released on the outward breath. Our feet are firmly connected to the ground and we can imagine roots going down into the soil. Deep down into the earth, through every crack and fissure, deep into the rock, deep into the core of the earth, and we feel firmly grounded to Mother Earth. We feel firmly grounded to Mother Earth.
and now we are going to protect ourselves because when we travel in the spirit world we need to be protected to make sure we are only communicating at the highest and the purest level to make sure that we are not letting in unwanted malevolent or mischievous spirits and so i would like you to imagine wrapping yourself in a cloak a cloak of protection and this cloak protects you from all malevolent or mischievous spirits imagine it is teflon coated so that it provides robust protection at all times and this cloak is around you at all times when you are communicating at spirit level now you are well protected you are safe and protected now imagine if you will that you're sitting on a wooden bench surrounded by woods and trees flowers and animals the sun beats down on your face and you feel entirely safe and protected you are sitting there on your wooden bench with your hands on your lap and just looking up to the warmth of the sun You look around and notice that in the distance there is a mountain. You look more closely at the mountain and you discover a small winding path coming down from the mountain. and you see coming slowly down from the mountain two light sources two gleaming white lights they gradually wind their way down the path and come towards the woods that you're sitting in you notice that there is a fence and a gate the two light sources stop outside the gate it becomes clear to you that they are waiting for your permission to enter to enter the forest you nod your permission you nod your permission and the two light sources come towards you you are filled with the feeling of well-being of peace and calm you realize you are in the presence of a higher spirit a spirit being a guide You beckon to the first light source energy 
and that source energy moves toward you. You ask the light source, the spirit guide, what is your name? What is your name? You ask the spirit guide. You will receive an understanding of a name. Notice any emotion or feeling or sensation that you experience as you make contact with the spirit guide. It might be a tingling somewhere on your body or it might be an aroma. A symbol might appear in your mind. Remember this, but this will be the sign of this particular spirit guide. Remember this. Now ask the spirit guide, what this purpose is? Is it to teach you? Is it to guide you? Is it a musical guide or an artistic guide? Often guides have specific purposes and are there to help us at times in our lives. It's also appropriate to ask a guide, can I trust you? Go ahead and ask. Your guide will expect to be tested in this way. Now you can ask your guide any question, any question that's burning upon your mind. And you will receive an understanding of an answer from that guide. Have you reached a particular turning point in your life and require guidance as to which path to take? Have you reached a point in your career and you don't know which way to turn? Are you in a rut and require some guidance as to how to get out of that rut? Do you have some dilemma which is troubling you and which requires a solution? All of these questions can be asked of your spirit guide. Ask your question. Once you have received this information, thank your spirit guide for that guidance. And you will note that the spirit guide moves back, allowing the second spirit guide to move forward. Once again, ask your spirit guide for its name.
Once again, you will receive a name or a symbol or an image or an aroma or a sensation. Recognize this so that you can call upon the spirit guide again. Once again, do you have a question for the spirit guide? Or you can simply say to the spirit guide, what guidance do you have for me today? Ask for the guidance. And you will receive guidance which will help you on the next stage of your path in life. Having received information, thank you spirit guide and you'll see it moves back. And now you'll see that two light sources are retiring and they go back through the gate and back up the mountain path, slowly, slowly disappearing into the distance until they vanish and once again you're sitting on your bench you're sitting on your bench and feeling the warmth of that sunlight the comfort the sense of well-being the peace the serenity and now you're bringing yourself back into your body Now you're fully aware of all your senses. You feel relaxed. You feel calm. And you're going to take this feeling of well-being with you throughout the rest of the day. <laughs>